Uh, big baller, triple B's. Shout out to Hoop Journey. Yo, what is going on, guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Today, we're going to be getting into Lonzo Ball and how LeBron James changed him. But first, Lonzo Ball suffered this ankle injury in Houston and will be missing the next four to six weeks. It was his left ankle. Luckily, the x rays did turn out negative, but he still had to be carried off of the court. Now, this was back in December, towards the end of the month in Sacramento. He comes up after laying up the ball and lands badly on that left ankle and is hobbling in pain had to be subbed out of that game so that could have been a lingering injury that's causing him to miss the next four to six weeks and also just reactivating an injury that could possibly have been done that game and the Lakers can't afford any more injuries with LeBron out with that groin injury even though he is expected to return very soon to the Lakers lineup but getting back to the topic of this video Lonzo Ball and LeBron James joining forces this offseason the young Lakers core is looking very promising and Lonzo Ball to me looks to be the most important player of those three young Laker core players out of Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma. I do believe Lonzo Ball is the most important to LeBron's championship success. Now Lonzo Ball last season his rookie year averaging 10 points a game, 7 assists, 7 rebounds, 1.7 steals per game and was looking very very good to me. I mean his shooting percentages weren't the best shot 42% from the field also 30% from the three point line is very unacceptable for a point guard. But Lonzo Ball really affects the game in so many different ways. So many little things he does that don't go on the stat sheet and he just always making the right play when I watch him. Fast forwarding to this season averaging 10 points a game 5 rebounds 5 assists his numbers are going down due to the fact that playing with LeBron and Rondo your numbers aren't going to increase too much especially as a point guard and in the beginning of the season Rondo was getting a majority share of those minutes Luke Walton was favoring Rondo a little bit too much in my opinion I do believe Lonzo right now is the better player the better overall player he just does so many things and also is a very great two-way player I do believe he's their best perimeter defender and a top three defending point guard in the league maybe even the best with DeJounte Murray being out with the ACL injury this season is between Lonzo Ball and Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly six feet tall Alonzo Ball six foot seven with the long wingspan and is one of the most athletic point guards in the league even though a lot of people don't see this I'm not understanding why have you not seen him pushing the ball in transition have you not seen him dunk on Willie Cauley Stein last season I mean he just has so many athletic plays that people really go unnoticed I mean look at this handle fast crossover finishes over Andre Drummond one of the best centers in the league and a smaller man can it stay in front of him Lonzo Ball showing off that speed in that one two that zero to sixty acceleration the LeBron James how did he change Lonzo Ball well to me he instilled so much confidence in him LeBron James saying okay you got this Lonzo Ball is gonna be great he is my starting point guard can only boost Lonzo's confidence Lonzo Ball has said LeBron James is his favorite player of all time is somebody who he looked up to and studied his game fluently so Lonzo Ball getting that that co-sign from LeBron James can only mean the world to him. He's now just hustling every play, giving it his all on both sides of the court, which the Lakers really do need. They are one of the worst defensive teams in the league. And Lonzo Ball just brings a defensive presence, whether it's picking you up from 94 feet or just blocking shots and pushing the ball in transition. Lonzo Ball also with LeBron out. As soon as LeBron went out with that injury on Christmas Day, since then, Lonzo Ball has been averaging 12.5 points per game, 7 assists, 6 rebounds, shooting 36% from the 3, and as well, averaging those 1.5 five steals per game playing very well his defensive win shares are great and also I just want to go back to these last couple games this great stretch Lonzo was on going back first to the OKC game the game got forced into OT and Lonzo Ball just turned it up and took over that overtime and won that game for the Lakers look at the footage it will be playing right now Lonzo Ball just took over that game in OT they got the 
great win on the road against a tough team. Fast forwarding to the Rockets game, the Lakers were up by 15 points and at one point were up by 20 points with Lonzo Ball. They had a 15 point lead and Lonzo Ball went out with that injury and they just looked confused, did not know what to do and they end up losing that game in overtime as well. Now Kyle Kuzma, how some people say, how can you say Lonzo Ball is better than Kyle Kuzma? And I'm saying Lonzo Ball is the better overall player than Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma is obviously the better scorer. But going back to that Houston game, Kyle Kuzma had 20 points in the first quarter and Lonzo Ball was just feeding him that ball. Lonzo Kuzma ended up finishing that game with 30 points, but for the rest of the game only scored 3 points when Lonzo wasn't in the game to set him up. He needs to find a way to find his shots. And also, he didn't even take a shot in overtime, and the Lakers end up losing that game. It just shows you the importance of Lonzo. The Lakers are going to be suffering these next couple games since they don't have Lonzo. You see, they just got blown out by the Warriors. Now be going up against another tough matchup. Even though Rondo is expected to come back soon, the Lakers do need Lonzo just because of his defensive presence. And he's also, you have to respect his three-point shot because he's making it this season a lot more efficiently so now he's a better floor spacer than rondo and he's just more athletic let me know in the comments though all your thoughts and opinions about lonzo ball what are his flaws what are his best parts of his game let me know in the comments below am i reaching did lebron help him or did lebron slow him down let me know in the comments below it's julie from hoop journey and i'm out